Hey everyone, it's Jamie here from Ecom Masterclass and in today's video, I'll be going over how you can create and structure optimized thank you emails. So thank you emails are extremely important in any e-commerce business. I was going to create a personal connection with a customer right after they've ordered. I'll go over how to structure them today and also show you an example. Before I dive into it, I want to thank our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify app store. It's going to allow you to skip your spreadsheets. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for and it's going to give you your real profit calculations with tons of other metrics here so you can skip those spreadsheets and get back to growing your store while understanding how much money you're actually making which is a key factor in any e-commerce business there's gonna be a link in the description for a 15 day free trial i'm also going to show a quick promo video are you a shopify business owner who spends hours doing your accounting have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business discover profit calc the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. So let's first go over why you wanna be sending customized thank you emails. The first reason is that it's gonna build a personal connection with the customer. This customer just went through, found your store online and ordered something without ever seeing your face, probably without ever speaking to you. And so you're just some faceless website online. You wanna build a personal connection with them by sending them a thank you email, maybe telling them a bit about yourself or your company, I'll go into that later, but it's going to build a stronger connection here with the customer. This is going to make them more likely to buy from you again, as you're building a personal relationship, which is so key here is having multiple orders from the same customer is going to be essential to high profitability as it's going to cost five times more to acquire a new customer than to retain a previous one. The next reason you want to do it is it's going to set expectations. So tell them about your product, maybe some of the benefits when they're going to receive it, maybe what they're going to get in the box. This can help set expectations. So the customer is looking forward to it and they're not going to be disappointed. The last one is going to be upsell or cross sell opportunities. Now you're probably not going to do this in the immediate thank you email, but it's going to give you an opportunity down the line to do so as you've started to build that personal relationship, increasing that average order value and your frequency of customer purchases. So let's go over a basic structure here of a thank you email. So you're going to say, hi, dear, depending on the language you use for your store and what tone you want to set. You want to insert that customer's name you're going to have that after receiving the order now you should be using an email marketing software and almost all of them are going to allow for personalization with the customer's name so then you're going to want to thank them for your order i just wanted to personally thank you for your order you can add to that if you wish then you want to outline the product benefits so if you have a bunch of different products they may not be relevant here but you should be talking about the overall core benefits then and maybe the values you strive for maybe you're a company such as tentree and you're donating trees or 10 trees, planting them specifically after a customer purchases a product, you wanna list that there, help reinforce that. Maybe you're a certified B Corporation, list that there as well, help build that personal relationship. And you can also talk about a company story. So this is gonna be a company story of why you founded. It should come from the founder here or be labeled as the founder here. Maybe it's a personal story why you started. If you have a strong mission behind your brand, you should be building upon that here, especially if the customer didn't take the time to go research about your brand, visit your About Us page. I would list this here too, to help build that connection with the customer. Additionally, you can also include things such as shipping times. So how long is it gonna to take to get to the customer when they can expect to receive it? Lastly, you want your signature here. So you wanna first state that if there's anything they need, they can feel free to reach out. You can welcome them to the community. Maybe you have a social media community that you want them to join. I would link that in there as well. Lastly, you wanna sign it off as warmly. Thank you, your name, you should state your position and then the company name in there as well. So overall, this is a basic structure of a thank you email. You don't want it to be just a generic, thank you for your order, appreciate you, then leave there. You wanna build up a personal connection. Email is a one-to-one -one communication at the end of the day. What some brands will do too, is instead of using an HTML email with a bunch of different styling, it will just be a basic plain text email and it's gonna look like someone sent it to them personally. It's up to you based on your brand here, but overall those can have high delivery rates as well as higher opening rates. Let me show you an example here. This is a thank you email from Orion. And they send this in addition to the order confirmation email saying they received your order. It goes on about, thanks for checking out the company here. We saw the order came in the team took notice and they're excited for you to try their products. They also give benefits of the product here, what it's good for, and they also talk about how they want to educate you as well. 
and they say if there's anything you need, reach out. Give a personal name here. They also have a prompt here, so if something's on your mind, you can reach out and they might have a solution for you as well. They also have different links at the top to different parts of their website. So overall, a solid thank you email here it provides the benefits and it's a little more personal touch and something almost every store should be doing. In terms of setting up a thank you email, if you're using the existing email marketing app, you should be able to set that up easily. So immediately after a customer orders, send them a message with a thank you, inserting different variables. You can also put them in a post-purchase flow here, starting off with a thank you email and later following up with different cross-sell, upsell options, depending on how much they spent and which products they purchased. So this is going to conclude the video here on a thank you email. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you haven't yet, check out ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify app store. It's going to save you a ton of time so you can get back to growing your store. There's a link in the description to access a 15-day free trial, so make sure you check that out below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.